All right, guys, welcome back to part two of our video here at Whitney Oaks, located in Rockland. Here we are at hole number seven. It's a par four, 430 yards. There's a lot of hazard to the right you wanna stay away from, so anything in the middle is great. Uh, if you miss left, you should be fine. Let's see if we can get some good shots. Uh, 185 to the green it's about 206 to the back I'm just gonna hit my uh, three rescue here and um, just try to get over that hazard that is in front of me uh, hit to the right kind of by that tree hit the tree but probably should drop somewhere over there all right so I hit my first drive out hit three off the tee box now I'm hitting four uh, I got 185 like moose but I'm gonna hit a four iron just try to get it over got a lot of hazard in front Let's play a little draw. Should get over the hazard just to the right of the green. Nice shot. Some moose kicked off the tree up there. You gotta get to there. And then I rolled off this nice grass and up there, and I got chipped up there. The red. Rolled. Nice. Go. Oh. Not bad. All right, here we are at a par three. Uh, hole number eight. It's playing 182 yards. You got hazard in the front. You got a bunch of trees on the right. A bunch of trees on the left. So you need something in the middle or a little bit to the right long. Hit it as high and straight. Hopefully it's got the distance. Ooh, it might be short or it might be just on the front. Playing a little fade, kept it low from the wind. It's gonna be just to the right of the green over there. All right, so there's Ryan's ball. My old ball ended up in the hazard, so I'm gonna be taking a drop. Let's see what Ryan can do from here. All right, so Ryan ball went right there from the chip, and uh, my third shot ended up right next to the hole. Let's see if I can get a bogey. Nice. All right, we're on hole nine. Playing about 428. Uh, you got a pretty open fairway. It opens up right on the other side of this bush, and then you got the trees on the right. But you gotta hit one down the fairway and then have a good uh, second shot in. Alright, so I hit my drive. Uh, didn't go anywhere into the wind. I got 206 to the pin. Just gonna hit a four iron, have it roll up there. Got a little down slope in front of the green. It's headed right at the flag with a little fade to the right. Just under that big tree right there. All right, I got 250 to the back of the green. I'm just gonna hit a three rescue. My drive is right down the middle here. I got a little ways to go, but I'm just gonna try to run it up as close as I can. And it's just playing long today into the wind. Even though it's not that windy out, it's just, I don't know, it's weird. Ooh, hit it nice. Fade in over. Ooh, that's gonna work perfectly. It's gonna run right up to the pin. Nice shot. All right, so I didn't hit it very far, or not very well. I got this big old oak tree in front of me. I'm gonna use an eight iron, just try to punch it under and let it roll up to it. Roll. Rolled right onto the green there. Nice shot. Probably could put a little more onto it, but. All right, so Ryan and I both hit really good shots over here on the green. Got it left ourselves with about a 25, 30 footer. Let's see what we can do. Right 
here we are on the first hole at the start of the back nine, uh, hole number 10. Uh, we start off with a par four playing 282 yards. Uh, you want to hit about a 200 yard shot right where those carts are and then uh, set yourself up with about a hundred and some yards uh, wedge shot in. So let's see what we can do on this hole. Alright, so here's where uh, my ball landed and also Ryan's ball. As Coach would say, put a blanket on those babies. Hey Ryan, uh, what does this mean? Play closest two for five bucks. Closest two for five bucks, let's do it. Yep. What no, do you it's gotta be on the green account. Gotta be on the green account. What do you got here, Ryan? I got 86 to the middle. Alright, so like I said, I got 86. I'm gonna hit my gap, gap wedge and uh, try to get it up there. I do have a little bit of elevation, so. Hopefully it carries these bunkers up front. He yeah, does have these bunkers in front of him. You just gotta get it over there and then it should be good. I right, heat it a little fat. Go. Ooh, just short. Ooh, it might just be short. I don't know. We'll see. He might have left the door open for me. All right, so like you said, we got 86 to the hole. I'm just gonna hit a 52 degree and uh, hopefully get it on the green and uh, win that five bucks. Oh, he's definitely got the distance. Don't be on the green. I think he's on the green. I guess we'll see if I'm on I don't think I'm on it, but he might have just won those five bucks. <laughs> All right, so there's Ryan's ball just off of the green right there. He's justifying his shot now. And then uh, here's my ball sitting pretty on the green right there for uh, that five bucks. All right, let's see what Ryan can do with this chip. Like it's going Dude. uphill, but it's all right. Hole 11, uh, par 5, playing 523. Uh, it, it looks very narrow from this T box here, but it opens up a little bit on the other side. Just gotta hit a good drive in um, and then lay up. There's this big rock in front, and then yeah, just have a good, uh, good couple shots. Alright, so I chucked my first uh, tee shot and then I hit a provisional where I hit another shot from the tee box. So I'm hitting four now. I got 210 to lay up. I'm just gonna hit a rescue and uh, try and punch it down the middle of the fairway. Oh, wow. oh I pulled it left. Uh, I hit my drive down the middle. Uh, I got to lay up, so I'm gonna hit a seven iron just to put it in front so I can hit my third shot onto the green. Just push it to the right a little bit. Should be fine over there, it's just gonna roll back down. All right, so I hit my four shot out again. Uh, so now I'm taking a drop. So I'm gonna be hitting six right here. I have 180 to the flag stick. Just gonna hit a five iron to try and get it close and try to save myself a little bit. Ooh, hit it really good. It's going right at the flag. Oh, uh, we have to see where it went over there, but it should be really good. All right, so I hit a good second shot. Uh, I got about 90 to the front, pins located at probably 95. Just gonna hit a gap wedge and try to get it close. Push it to the right a little bit. Should be fine over there. It's gonna be right over, under that tree. All right, so Ryan's ball landed over there. That's just the right of the cart path. Uh, my sixth shot landed right here on the fringe. Let's see what I can do from here. Good chip, slow down. Just gonna roll. We just hit a really good chip, rolled right down this hill. Ended up right there. Here we are at hole number 12. It's a par three, playing 180 yards. Um, pretty straightforward, you just wanna get it straight. Hopefully get it on the green, it's a pretty big one. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can hit good iron shots and get on the dance floor. Hold it a little bit, slide to the left of the green. At least on the dance floor. Just a long putt from there. 
Ooh, hit it a little left like me. Should be clear over there though. Yep, he's just on the back. All right, so Ryan, we all hit the ball in the same area. Ryan's ball is just gonna be on the green right there. And mine's gonna be just on the ridge up there. We got long putts from here. guys so that will conclude part two uh, thank you guys for watching uh, make sure you hit that su uh, subscribe button like the video um, hit that notification bell so you can see our part three uh, coming up but thanks for watching and we'll see you on part three